Well, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to animate using SpareShop nodes. So many people have been asking me how to create animation using SpareShop. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, it depends what you are doing. If you are animating the transform, you can simply back it out. Uh, for example, if we have this random vector generating objects and you want to animate it using noise for example and you are animating the locations for example just doing a wiggle normally I just show you how we can just plug in frame so vector in so, so this frame is controlling the motion is controlling the noise actually and this noise can be increased like that so file save as this is just animating with spectrum okay so it, in theory you can just bake it out we don't have a way to do this uh, using spectrum but I think we can just use action bake action Turn on visual key. Uh, I think just hit OK and yeah, you see, it's already animated, so it's baked. You don't even need scratch off anymore, so you can go back. So bake action actually works. Um, you can animate it using animation nodes. <clears throat> but there is another way so let's say you have a different something that's totally different if you are animating the, the actual mesh for example like extruding etc let's see let me show you how to do this so plane and you have this uh, extrude separate face so this is the the output is going to be the mesh <clears throat> let's make this 10 by 10 so we have this maybe make it 5 by 5 if we are using random number it's for start plug into the height so we can have this and we can animate it you can also actually use the vector noise just output the scalar and plug this to the height and if you really want you can map range and list limits so this is controlling the limit of the noise and and then you can animate the position okay so in this case we are really animating the mesh you can save it out as alembic file export alembic if you will however if you want to animate it more manually you can actually use uh, empty almost forgot so empty objects input just grab our objects this matrix is output the locations of the this guy can be used as animation uh, for animating so the timeline needs to be running but you see by moving this you can animate the noise okay so that's uh, one way because in reality all this node stuff scratch up animation nodes should be acting more like a drivers drivers for anything so if you turn on auto keying for example and now just animating this you know following your mouse 
Um, you can even manually keyframe it if you like, like somewhere there and somewhere here, keyframe. Oh, keyframes set to fail to insert any keyframe. Okay. Yeah, this actually happened time to time. Oh, because it's already there. Okay. Anyway. Ish. Don't get rid of spread chop, but keep it if you want to render it render it out. So this animation is already working, right? That's how I usually do it. But uh, usually if you already want to bake it. You just ex export it out as LMB. So now this guy, this little MP is controlling spread top, and you can change the resolution here. Everything still work. It's kind of nice to be able to do this, really. So this you can have like a diamond mesh shape. Okay, this one might need more uh, resolutions. Okay, this should go from the center. Okay, center origins. So time to time we actually need this. I realize. So now. The noise is controlling our objects oh I mean the empty is driving the noise okay this is like a little bit too crazy let's just for example keyframe locations there and keyframe the location here so now it should be animated it has some kind of speed, however, be careful. You're animating this manually. So select our objects. Select our graph and just linear it. This is normally what you want. So you, you have these animations. Okay, so let's do one more thing. Like a sphere, dual mesh. There you go. See, animating in SpreadShop. Super easy. Okay, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.